Hello, my awesome and amazing Tauruses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are a Taurus dealing with a Pisces, then this reading might be for you. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. course rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to power of number three power of number six and power of number five okay so looks like we are going to the number 14 14 and tarot is temperance Something about an ebb and flow, <clears throat> an ebb and flow in this relationship connection. Something about patience, alchemy, reconciliation, um, being at peace with oneself. Maybe you have found towards that maybe you have not been at peace with this Pisces. So we're going to find out. We could see the magician card kick in, possibly the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, and or possibly the lovers. I do feel that there is a very strong connection that's going on here. Um, I do feel that the chemistry and the passion is very intense. However, it may not be enough for some of you, especially if this Pisces has been in and out of your life or if they've been, you know, wishy-washy, whatever the case may be. But we're going to see what messages come up today. So going to the power of number 14 for the beautiful star sign of Taurus dealing with Pisces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, <clears throat> and fourteen. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers for those dealing with the Pisces. What is going on in this overall general collective energy, please, between these two zodiac signs? Show me what's up. The Hermit. Somebody went silent, went rogue. There could be no contact going on right now. Somebody here could be going through the dark night of the soul or they are contemplating or thinking about you, Taurus. There could have also been a Virgo or a Libra involved that could have been possibly a third party situation. A lot of thinking. Well, let's see what they're thinking about. Mm, they're coming in as their true king or queen <clears throat> self, king of cups. They're thinking about the connection for sure. Um, they could have feel like, you know, they backstabbed and or betrayed you, or you could feel this way about them. Ten of swords. Could have been a lot of drama that was going on behind the scenes. Mm, they're going to eventually be reaching out for a cups, possibly in the next four days for some of you or the next four months. So... Either way, Taurus, you have to keep moving forward. Um, this could be about a rightfully owed apology. So they are contemplating how they have treated this connection or what they did or did not do for the relationship. There is some loving emotions going on because it's going on through the King of Cups. However, because of this mental thought process and the emotional regulation going on with this Pisces it's like right now they're not they're really not focusing in on the whole entire connection meaning like the commitment because they're not bringing me in energetically as the outsider looking in being the messenger they're not bringing me like a ten of cups ten of pentacles ace of cups ace of pentacles but there could be something here about an apology Okay, so we're going to go <clears throat> into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see what this Pisces wants to say to you.
it doesn't really matter like how many third party situations that could be going on in this Pisces world. The bottom line is it's about their connection with you. Okay. Trusted ancestors, show me through the hidden truth oracle, this Pisces higher self towards Taurus, please. I knew exactly what I was doing. So as we saw that ten of swords, again, there could have been backstabbing and betrayal. Um, they could have cheated on you, slept with somebody else <clears throat> behind the scenes. Some of you could have found out that maybe this Pisces was still married or they were still in cahoots, maybe with an ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband, or current wife, current husband for some of them. Um, I find that the excuse of work, like if they made work an excuse, um, I'm, not, I'm not giving them the white flag on that because we can all make adjustments. It's a matter of really, truly, when somebody wants to spend time with you, they're going to spend time with you. That flat out, black and white. This Pisces might not have had enough emotional regulation. Too many ruminating thoughts. Priorities might not have been streamlined. Maybe not making you their number one priority. It doesn't matter if there are children involved, whatever the case may be. And I'm not saying children are not valid. The bottom line is... Anything outside of you and the Pisces, that is what is the heart of the matter. How somebody handles a connection, how they handle a relationship, because everybody's busy, you know, we're, we're all busy and that's not to invalidate your emotions. However, I think when we put kind of two and two together, we know internally when somebody is really making the effort to give of their time, their energy and of their self to build a connection. And it could very well be true towards that. You could have given this Pisces the benefit of the doubt and was very patient to the best of your abilities. Um, but I just kind of feel like this Pisces is a little bit scattered. Um, because it feels to me that for those of you who are in no contact, like this no contact has been going on for quite a while. Finding out the truth crushed me. Meaning, I feel this this could be more you, Taurus, towards them. Because if they knew exactly what they were doing, who they were connected with, involved with, their problems, their situations, all of this, okay... You could have found out through the grapevine that they were cheating on you. You could have found out on social media. Um, they could have directly came straight up to you or told you in text message. I think when somebody's trying to break up with you in text message, that's a very cowardly thing. It is. You know, it's because they don't. Some, you know, especially the way Pisces are. Pisces are very emotional. It's like. For them, that was their safety zone, not to, for some of you guys, not to face you. It was their safety zone not to face you and to do it pretty much in a sense behind closed doors. Or um, you could, like I said, you could have seen them on social media, hanging out with somebody else, or, you know, maybe you knew for a fact that they were married. Maybe they were separated, but who's to say, maybe you saw a picture and they had their wedding ring back on. You never know. But there is a lot of contemplation going on, and yet they have this intention. They have this intention to come forward towards you. I wish things could be different. So right now in their thoughts, they could feel stuck or trapped. However, if they're feeling stuck or trapped, then that's like saying somebody is holding them against their own free will. Which, in, in my viewpoint, I think that's a little bit of an excuse, if not a lot. Because either you want to be with somebody or you don't. It has to be very... That's how the fixed signs roll. Fixed signs, I'm your sister Scorpio, fixed sign. It's, you know, as we mature and as we get older and as we start to process relationships on a different level, 
you know, we get to a point where it's like, okay, black or white, yes or no. We don't have time. The fixed signs, the way we think, we don't have time for the inconsistency. Either you want to be with me or you don't. And even if somebody doesn't want to be with us, you know, I'm not saying that it doesn't hurt because it sure as hell does, but we're, you know, you could be at this point in your life where you're just like, I just don't have time. I don't have time for the back and forth. I don't have time to figure out if, you know, we're going to get married or do you want to elevate the relationship and feeling like you're walking on eggshells. So this Pisces knows exactly what they did. Okay. They're just a little, I think they're just afraid to come forward right now to contact you. But with the four of cups, um, a lot of times with the four of cups, that is somebody trying to reach out. They could still be fearful. They could be very fearful that you will reject them. They're a little bit afraid that they could end up getting the repercussions from you. And maybe this has already transpired in some of your storylines. But yeah, they're wanting something here to be different. And it could be very well true that maybe you guys are in a long distance relationship. Again, long distance relationships, th that is considered a third party situation. Okay, it's anything that is outside of the connection. Bottom line, when somebody wants to be with somebody, they're going to make every single attempt and effort to do so because they see you or view you as number one. So I do feel, Taurus, that this Pisces didn't make you their number one priority. Okay, so let's go into the Romance Angels deck. Let's see what their romantic feelings are right now. Trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers, what is this Pisces romantic feelings towards Taurus, please? What are they hiding? Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. For some of you guys, that could very well be true. Maybe both of you come from different religious backgrounds and maybe it's just not coinciding. That could literally be happening. However... I look at the religious factors as more of the spiritual connection. They may or may not understand because they're in hermit mode, the true spiritual essence of this connection that was pretty much you two were brought together for a reason. Okay. And everything is divinely orchestrated. Even if the situation seems negative or positive, it was meant to happen, okay, in a timeline of reality, all right? But they are thinking about you. They're thinking about, well, is this a soulmate connection? Is this really who I feel like I'm supposed to be with? So there's a lot of contemplation and maybe possible confusion on this Pisces end because, again, it may have something to do with them not being able to emotionally regulate because of possible racing thoughts that are going on right now because they knew exactly what they did. So they knew that they screwed up. Make the effort, okay? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I think they know now that they didn't put in enough effort, but with that four of cups, part of this energy with the make the effort, to me, in like tarot terms, this would be kind of like the eight of pentacles really putting the work in. Uh, to the connection to get something balanced here, okay? So with for some of you guys, it could be the next four days. It could be four months out from now um, where they're going to try to attempt to put their best foot forward, but to accept them back right away would not be the right thing to do because you have to see that effort. You have to see that their words are matching up with their actions, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Some of these Pisces in their mindset could have felt like maybe you were controlling Taurus. I don't know. But <clears throat> maybe you felt that Pisces was trying to control things. Um, when they decide to return, okay, 
you don't have to give them the third degree, but you can still come in from a very diplomatic way because the last thing that you need to do, Taurus, is to raise your stress levels. You don't need to raise your stress levels with this Pisces, okay? They're too sensitive anyway. And again, not maybe being as emotionally regulated, okay? Um, if you are stumped, as far as what to say, then my recommendation is to go to the channel on YouTube called The Art of Love. The host name is Lucia. I do not know her personally, but she has a video that's very powerful. The six most important things to say or when the ex returns, what to say when the ex returns, because it's going to help extract the right answers out of that person towards you and you can use these six questions pretty much in almost any kind of a relationship dynamic when somebody's trying to get back on your good graces or they want you back in their life okay um because i feel that when pisces returns they're gonna pretty much be on probation you know what i mean they're gonna be on probation with you and i personally I would not recommend sleeping with them right away. I, would, I don't care how great the sex was. I don't care. The bottom line is, is that you do not want to fall back into the same old pattern because something here has to, sh has to change. It has to shift. And right now, if they are the ones that left you, Taurus, they are the ones that have to massively step up to the plate because you in truth already know how you handled the relationship you know what responsibilities that you took care of in the relationship you know how you handled it okay and a lot of you probably feel like you handled it to the best of your abilities okay however they're the ones that are going to have to really prove it to you but do not take them back right away you could tell them it's like you know i have some things to think about the whole point is, is when somebody returns, it's just easier said than done, but it, you have to stay calm. You have to stay calm, especially if this person really hurts you to the core. Okay. Forgiveness is not easy. And I don't feel necessarily if this person really hasn't learned their lesson, if this Pisces has not learned their lessons and you've been around the block with them too many times, Taurus, they will never learn their lesson. Okay, they, they won't. And then, it, then it's going to be to the point where spirit will probably push you out of your comfort zone to move on in a very graceful manner. And some of you guys feel like you have moved on, but there could still be this essence of them locked down in your subconscious mind. What are they up to? What are they doing? Um, you know, I wonder, I wonder if they're ever going to return or come back. Well, the bottom line is when the dumper dumps the dumpy and they go off to that fake green grass on the other side okay when they walk into their illusionary world and they find out that it's not working it has been proven through science because of behavior patterns with people that they will retrieve back after a period of time okay but in the meantime you got to make sure that you are focusing in on yourself that you're working in on your self-concept you're working in on your confidence Okay, because this connection, I feel that the both of you fell very hard for one another. So right now, it is a matter of you staying in your power, Taurus, being very diplomatic, keeping those stress levels down. And this Pisces will eventually come forward just be patient. I know you've been patient for a while, but you might need to be patient just a little bit longer. Keep manifesting. You know, you can manifest for this Pisces to come back. If you feel like they owe you an apology, they have tons of guided meditations to get that apology, to reprogram your mind, to reprogram that subconscious mind, to think outside the box, to see your person coming towards you, reconciling with you. But right away, what they're showing me is that they're not right away going to bring in major commitment because in truth they left you they set the relationship back at pretty much ground zero okay they, they set it back at ground zero so right now when you think about it it's reset 
you're at the base level of reset. And then when they return, then the reset clicks off, that button clicks off, and then you have to reset the connection, the friendship. And having to start over from scratch because you don't want to pick back up where you left off. Because if where you left off was very hard, tumultuous, uh, you went through grieving, that's not where you want to start back, okay? You want to start back from trust. And so this Pisces is probably going to have to earn your trust back. That's why to make the effort. So they are in a lot of contemplation about you in this connection. I still feel like they have feelings for you, but... They're, what I'm feeling here is that their priorities were not straight and, and they didn't know what they want. Not enough emotional regulation with these thoughts could have been going on in their mind about the connection and so forth. Okay. Because you Taurus could have been either having an anxious attachment style onto them where you needed to be constantly reassured that they weren't going to leave you that, you know what I mean? Got to be very careful because we don't want to cling or latch on to somebody just to seek validation. We have to learn how to validate ourselves. We have to get into that empowerment, learn how to validate because even though we're with a partner, sure, we, we want to be supportive of our partner. We want to feel that love. We want to feel that connection, that oxytocin going on through our body to make us feel that connection. But we also have to empower ourselves to understand that it doesn't matter who you're dealing with. You need to know who you are yourself, okay? And know yourself better. And this time around, when, when they come back, they're going to have to prove it. You decide to give them that other chance. You could have given this Pisces numerous chances. But if this is the last time that you're going to give them the one last chance, then that's it. If they falter, because they're not showing me whether or not they're going to falter. This is kind of like a wait and see, Okay. Because there's no commitment cards. There's no commitment cards. So it, it's really a wait and see right now. But in the meantime, during the silence, allow the silence to be your empowerment time. Put yourself more up on the pedestal, Taurus, versus the Pisces. My awesome and amazing Tauruses, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.